The tiger, a creature of immense power and beauty, reigns supreme in the lush jungles of Asia. From the snowy forests of Russia to the steamy mangrove swamps of Southeast Asia, dense vegetation provides cover for ambushing prey. Water sources offer respite from the heat. The tiger is perfectly adapted to this environment. The Asian jungles echo with the calls of deer and wild pigs. Solitary hunters by nature, tigers rely on stealth and strength. A powerful bite delivers the final blow. Their striped coats render them nearly invisible. These forests are the tiger's kingdom. Africa, a continent teeming with life, presents a stark contrast to the jungles of Asia. The vast savannas, characterized by open grasslands and scattered acacia trees, offer little cover for a solitary hunter like the tiger. The prey animals, adapted to these open spaces, are swift and agile, often forming large herds for protection. The African climate, too, differs significantly. While Asia experiences distinct wet and dry seasons, many parts of Africa are characterized by prolonged periods of drought. Water, a critical resource for all animals, becomes scarce, forcing them to travel long distances to find it. This nomadic lifestyle would prove challenging for a tiger accustomed to a more stable territory. The ecosystems of Asia and Africa, though both rich in biodiversity, are worlds apart in their structure and function. They have evolved over millions of years in isolation, shaping the flora and fauna that inhabit them. To introduce a top predator like the tiger into the delicate balance of the African savanna would be a recipe for ecological disaster. Africa is already home to a formidable array of predators, each occupying a specific niche in the ecosystem. Lions, the apex predators of the savanna, reign supreme with their powerful bodies, social structure, and cooperative hunting strategies. Hyenas, often underestimated, are highly intelligent and efficient scavengers and hunters in their own right. These predators have evolved over millennia to thrive in the African environment, developing specialized skills and adaptations. Lions, with their powerful limbs and group hunting tactics, excel at bringing down large prey like zebra and wildebeest. Hyenas, equipped with powerful jaws and a scavenging lifestyle, capitalize on the leftovers, ensuring nothing goes to waste. A tiger, accustomed to being the top predator in its Asian domain, would face stiff competition from these established players. Lacking the social structure of lions and the scavenging prowess of hyenas, a tiger would struggle to secure a consistent food source. The African savanna is a battleground, and the tiger is ill-equipped for this particular war. A different kind of prey challenges on the African savanna. The prey animals of Africa have also evolved to survive in this challenging environment. Zebras, wildebeest, and gazelles, with their incredible speed and agility, are a far cry from the slower, more solitary animals of the Asian jungles. Their herding behavior, a successful defense mechanism against predators, presents an intimidating challenge for a solitary hunter like the tiger. African prey animals are also acutely aware of their surroundings, constantly on the lookout for danger. Their keen eyesight and sense of smell alert them to the presence of predators, allowing them to flee long before a tiger could even contemplate an attack. The tiger's hunting style, reliant on stealth and ambush, would prove largely ineffective in the open savanna. The lack of dense vegetation to conceal its approach, coupled with the speed and agility of its prey, would make securing a meal a daunting task. The shadow of humanity threats to tigers in Asia and beyond. Even if we were to disregard the ecological challenges, the introduction of tigers to Africa raises another critical concern, human-wildlife conflict. Across their Asian range, tigers already face immense pressure from habitat loss, poaching, and human-wildlife conflict. Introducing them to a new continent would only exacerbate these threats. Human populations are expanding, encroaching further into wild areas and increasing the likelihood of encounters with dangerous animals. Tigers, though majestic, are wild animals with instincts honed over millennia. An encounter between a tiger and a human, particularly in a novel environment like Africa, could have tragic consequences for both parties. The illegal wildlife trade, a multi-billion dollar industry, poses another significant threat. Tiger parts are highly valued in some cultures for their purported medicinal properties, fueling the demand for poached animals. Introducing tigers to Africa would only provide another target for this illicit trade, 
further endangering an already vulnerable species. An ecological earthquake, the perils of introducing tigers to Africa. It is a dangerous proposition with catastrophic consequences. The savanna is not equipped for a predator as powerful as the tiger. Competition for resources and predation on native species are major risks. The consequences could be severe. The African wild dog could face further decline. The balance between herbivores and vegetation could be disrupted. Introducing tigers to Africa is a gamble we cannot afford. If you found this video insightful, please like and subscribe for more content like this.